Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will learn to use a self-service portal to manage virtual computers and users. We will look at the process to manage users, manage backup, shut down and restart operations, update Tally Prime, change secure pin. The portal with all its options allows the TallyNet account owner to manage and control access to Tally Prime based on his requirements. These options are available to a user based on the user role. Only owner or administrator have all the listed options. Login to the self-service portal. Open ssp.lcom.digital URL. The login page opens. Enter the TallyNet ID, password and secure pin. Press enter or click login. The portal opens for the given TallyNet ID with details of the linked virtual machine. You get controls to manage the entire virtual machine or various individual virtual computers under it. You can connect to your virtual computer from the self-service portal and the virtual computer opens in WebDCV. This allows you to connect to your virtual computer and use Tally Prime from any computer. You do not have to install the virtual connection client to access the virtual computer. You can access the virtual computer using Chrome, Safari and web browsers. We recommend to use the latest browser version. You can access the virtual computer using web browser only in Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. Touch devices like mobile and tablets are not supported. To open your virtual computer in a web browser and use Tally Prime, click in Action column of the virtual computer you want to access. From the options displayed, click Open Virtual Computer. The virtual computer opens in a new tab of the web browser. Manage Users You may want to create, edit and delete users in virtual machine. You can use Manage Users to achieve this. You can manage users as per your need and the plan you choose. For example, in a 4 users pack, you will get a virtual machine which will have 4 active users and 4 virtual computers. You can add users and make them active or inactive based on your requirement. Only active users will have access to virtual computer. You also have the option to delete a user or edit a user to change the TallyNet ID, user role and user status. To create new user, click the ellipsis under Action. Click Manage Users. In the Manage Users screen, click Add User. In the Add User screen, you can select TallyNet ID already linked to your account or enter a new email ID. Select the user role as administrator or standard user. Finally, select the user status as active or inactive. Click Add User. Once you add a new user, a virtual computer is created in the virtual machine. A mail is sent to the TallyNet ID with the login credentials. In case of existing TallyNet ID, user need to use existing TallyNet credentials and the secure pin sent over email to login. In case of new email ID entered, user will receive two emails, one with TallyNet ID credentials and another mail with secure pin details. On first login, user can change the secure pin. The pin should be between 6 to 16 digits. Edit user. You may want to edit the user and change the TallyNet ID, user role and user status. In case the TallyNet ID is changed, then the data stored in the virtual computer will remain as is. Only the user access will be changed. You can also change the user role and user status. Delete user. This will permanently remove the virtual computer along with all the data stored in the user's virtual computer. Hence, we recommend to take backup before deleting the user. Manage backup. This will list backups of your data. 
On start or restart of virtual machine, a backup of all your data stored in the virtual machine is saved automatically. You can also take backup of your data manually when the virtual machine is in running state. To take backup, click the ellipsis points under Action. Click Manage Backup. In the Manage Backup screen, click Backup Now. A backup is created. This backup has shared data and also data from each user's virtual computer linked to this machine. In case you are a standard user, you will see only the option to download backup and allowed only to download backup of your virtual computer and not shared data. Download backup. You can download the backup file using this option. This will list all the shared data backup and user-wise backup files. Backup files are password protected and in zip format. Delete backup. Delete backup will delete the selected backup file. A deleted backup file can't be recovered. Restart. If you want to restart your virtual machine or only your virtual computer, you can use the restart option. Ensure that all active users are informed to stop using Tally Prime and save their work before you restart your virtual machine. Click the ellipsis points under Action. Click Restart. In the Restart screen, click Restart Virtual Office to restart all users' virtual computers in the virtual machine or click Restart Virtual Computer to restart only your virtual computer. Standard user will have an option only to restart their virtual computer. Shutdown. You can shut down the virtual machine using this option. Click the ellipsis point under Action. Click Shutdown. In the Shutdown screen, click Shutdown Virtual Office to shut down all users' virtual computers in the virtual machine. Ensure that all the work is saved before you shut down. Start. This option appears only when your virtual machine is shut down. You can start and continue with your work in the virtual computer. The virtual machine is started automatically when a user connects to his virtual computer. Update Tally Prime. The portal also offers this option to update the Tally Prime installation to the latest available release. Using this option, you can update the Tally Prime or Tally Prime server installed in your virtual machine. To update Tally Prime, click the ellipsis points under Action. Click Update Tally Prime. In the Update Tally Prime release screen, select the release you want to update. Click Update. This will close all the user sessions and virtual machine is restarted. In single click, you can update Tally Prime and Tally Prime server to a selected release in all the user's virtual computers. Change Secure Pin Using the Change Secure Pin option, you can manage the security for your login. You can change the pin from time to time as per your need. To change Secure Pin, click Change Secure Pin in the left pane of the portal. In the Change Secure Pin screen, enter the current pin and new pin twice. The pin should be between 6 to 16 digits. Click Change Secure Pin. Your pin is changed. You can log out and log in again using the new pin. This change is applicable even to the virtual computer connection client. Never share your TallyNet credentials and secure pin as this will give access to your data. Download Client You can use this option to download the virtual computer connection client. You can install the client on any local computer and use it to access your virtual machines. Click Download Client A web page opens. Click Download button. Use the downloaded EXE to install the client. Help the Help option can be used to access the support documentation to know more about this feature and learn how to use. This portal gives a centralized control to manage all your virtual computers and users. You can also manage Tally Prime versions and data backup from here. Thank you. For more details, visit 
एलकॉम डॉट डिजिटल स्लैश हेल्प